When people talk about artifacts in the AI world, they don't mean dusty relics in a museum. An artifact is just the thing that a chatbot spits out for you. If you ask it to write a lesson plan, that plan is the artifact. If you need an image prompt, a slide deck outline, a mock budget, those are artifacts too. I personally don't see the, like, the general text output as an artifact. For me, it's a thing I take away. The code block, the playable app, the document, etc. But not every AI lab handles artifacts the same way. Anthropist Claude sets that bar very high. Its artifacts feature is known for real-time iteration, top-tier output quality, making it the go-to for many who want reliable collaborative results, which is how I use it. OpenAI treats artifacts like a bit of a structured output a little bit more, so focusing on flexibility for developers, so building those kind of custom workflows takes a bit of tinkering to get there. Google's Gemini produces artifacts across a lot of formats. It especially accelerates when it's plugged into its larger productivity system, and even more so when they're playing in that kind of AI studio space. So, if you're chasing the strongest, most robust artifacts right now, I still think Claude's the way to go. Gemini's gems, great. Uh, particularly love your shout out to the AI studio, criminally underused. And a great way to explore with any manner of new edge tools that they're offering. But no, Claude all day. The artifacts are just next level. And um, yeah, it's just another reason I'm, I'm, I'm such a fanboy. Think of artifacts <laughs> as the doggy bag of your conversation with AI. The tangible outputs you can share to, build on. They're not magical. They're not mysterious. They're just the evidence of what your chatbot and you have created together.